Patients who need dialysis can dialyze a number of ways. Typically, we try to put in a catheter called a tunnel dialysis catheter. That catheter can stay in indefinitely until you have another way to dialyze. Sometimes we put in temporary catheters, but a temporary catheter can only be left in three or four weeks because it might, you might get an infection. And with the tunnel catheters, typically we'll put them into a jugular vein and we'll tunnel it under the skin so that the catheter comes out remote from where you actually put it into the jugular vein. There are some patients that the jugular vein might be closed off and so we'll, we'll have to use alternative sites such as maybe the other jugular vein or if all these veins close off, which sometimes happens in dialysis patients, then we'll have to find other ways to get the catheter in. If you can't get a catheter in, then the patient can't dialyze. So sometimes we'll use the femoral vein in the groin, and if that femoral vein closes off, then we'll go to the other groin. And if those close off, then we will have to do more heroic things to get a catheter in. And so we sometimes will put a catheter called a translumbar inferior vena cava catheter where a catheter is put in through the back into the inferior vena cava. The catheter that's typically of last resort is when we actually put a little catheter right through the liver that's done under general anesthesia and what we'll do is thread the catheter into the hepatic vein. The hepatic vein is probably the last vein in the body that stays open once all these other sites have closed off. And there's a number of techniques as interventional radiologists we have to find all these different veins. We use ultrasound and imaging like CAT scans to find these veins and we use different techniques with snares and angioplasty balloons and so most patients even if other physicians are unable to get catheters in, in most of these patients we can do these so-called heroic accesses or impossible access and get catheters in these patients.